How you doing? Is it open? Is the sale open? I'm open, yep. All right. This thing is really hard to pinch. God. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Sled. <laughs> All right. I think I'm just gonna leave that clip on there. No one. Wow, man, that's really hard. This I know it won't fall off. All right. Make sure we're recording. Yeah, you got lots of stuff. Wow. I'm gonna find something good in here. A lot of quick store stuff, huh? See them old Nikes. How much is this stuff? Like different prices or how much are the shoes? Shoes I'll sell you them for a dollar a pair. Okay. I'll take those. Should we have a jacket? So what is that? A trench? That's cool. What do you want for that? $2. Okay. As long as it don't smell like smoke. I, I get things that smell like smoke and it's like, oh, yeah, especially you know leather, you can't get smoke out of leather. Nope. It's it terrible. It's in clothes or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, it's clothes in this house, 50 cents. Okay. What's up on the racks? $2 a piece. We got Daytona. That's cool. All right, so how much is the clothing in here? 50 cents. Okay. That's cool. Read that one over there. I'll take <laughs> that one too. What, this one? Yeah. 10 things not to say to your girlfriend. How much for just one night? <laughs> P.U., is that you? I like this shirt. Think I'll get yelled at if I wear that? I don't know, you might. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe. It might be maybe worth not, it might, it might be worth the laugh, right? I was gonna say you might get more laughs than yelling. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a lot of nice clothes on there. I went through them. Adidas. There was a lot on that pal fifty cents a piece. Okay. Hung up some nice ones. Not a medium. That looks like it'll fit my son. Mm. Take that one. I'll take that. I'll take that one. I love vintage, vintage clothing. Definitely do. No. Glad's, Gladstone, Michigan. Okay. Yeah, there's some decent clothes there. There definitely is. They accumulate fast when people. Peppy. What? Star Wars. There's another cute one. Normal people scare me. <laughs> I hung that one up over there. I thought that was cute. Sorry. Well, it's on your pal awesome. if you want that one. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Taekwondo. Nope. Miss me shorts. I'll take those. Nope. Cowboys are in it. I don't speak with the serum. Huh?
This another bag of clothing. Is that another one? Yeah, you can open that bag up if you want to. Take that here. one. Jump it out here and see what is in it. Yeah, why not? I'll go through it. Yeah. Buy a bunch off of it. You get first choice of this bag. Awesome. There's more here. Get this one. The bottom of the bag is going to share out better, so we'll just turn it the other way. <laughs> One more. This looks like some towels and bags. This one's like linen. There's a towel. Okay, that one's <laughs> linen. Okay, we three of those. Real tree. This one's linen still. This one the same thing. Okay. Same thing or some more clothing. Shirt. Another Taekwondo. There's a Tommy. Take these too. Mm -hmm. Got to clean them up. I'll throw them in the trunk. I'll clean them. That's yeah. all right. That don't matter to me. I don't mind putting work in, cleaning things up. You know. Yeah. What are these? Figure out what those are. Yeah. Is that one of those blankets? Bay systems, something like that, yeah, another one, a towel, a shirt, nautica, okay, that's what that are you sure, I don't want to make a big mess, okay, well thank you, I just, like I said, I don't want to make a big mess here, I just, Open, don't Let's see what you got. Most of them are going to wear the business towel. I don't put a lot open the hangers. Okay, here's a jacket. I don't quite put that up in the hangar. I'll pass on that one. Okay. Yeah. Like I said I just want to. I want to be. I just want to be polite. I don't want to be yeah, like going mean. through don't wanna, and. Don't make a mess. Those are silicone push-up pads. I said my wife don't need those. No she. No she don't. She don't need any push -up. She don't need nothing to push them things. Them puppies up. They're, they're up there big enough. <laughs> enough that you can chew on them anyway, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. You know it. Yep. That's all that matters. <laughs> okay. oh, there's some osteris. Those are nice. These aren't in bad shape. Yeah, things with stuff like that, a lot of times it's the right size. Yeah. You just gotta get person to Someone will come along and it'll be their size. Yep. You just definitely you gotta have patience when it comes to clothing. Yeah. There's a chase. Who's that? Gordon. Ooh, that first bag I kept mm -hmm. a couple of shirts out of it for myself. Oh yeah. And I have probably have fifty or a hundred shirts anyway. 
Cause there's a couple in there. I got a lot size. of clothing too. I'm a real, they were I'm a clothing size. guy. They were my size and I was like, shit, I'm keeping them. This one's, I think that one's old too. If I don't wear them, someday I'll die and somebody else will wear them. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't get it. See, that is the circle of life. You just have to live, you know? live and be happy and enjoy your life and yep. that's all you can do you know yep. there's another one of a nike gray tag what we got here I got an under armor that one's nice making a good little pile over here yeah, you get the pile one of these american yeah. eagle pick out whatever you want throw them on your pile I definitely will. Here's another one with that, man. Here's this. This is a Warner Brothers. That one's cool. Make sure the, the camera's in the right spot. Okay, what else we got in here? This is... These are women's... <clears throat> all right so i don't know how well this is going to record people but i'm saying i'm going to stay away from electronics and i'm buying two more but i think this is another one yeah here's another one so Here's the other one. Okay. There's another one. There's that one. Okay. These are cool. What are these? Taiwan. I don't know. These are interesting. Little mice cells. What does that say? Now these are Jasco. Well, let's hook them up. Mm. There's only, no, there's only two. Two of that, I know what this is. The heating. Some pioneer speakers, some speakers. They're old, they're kind of good. What's this? Step count. No. Well, let's try to keep it simple since we got. Two electronics. There's some. I'm going to go through these. Alright. This one's new with the tag. That one's interesting. Made in USA, that one's wool. That one's a no. No. That one's a no. That's an old 49ers logo 7. McDonald, USA. That's a good one. Mm, no. What else we got? No. 2008 Haas. Victor Welding. Old Visor. No. Lone Star. Blue Bond. TW. 
this. Two, five. Capital, yeah. One strong. Okay. Top sail island. There's a plain one. Sand song. Snap still work. That's a good one. Get the dirt off it. Now. That one's got some stains on it. Auto parts. Alright, I think we'll just go with these two. Okay, so there's these two. Couple hats. Old McDonald. Like the patches coming off on that one. 49ers. Cool. Put the rest of them back. This is what I was looking at. What's in these? So these are empty, right? Yeah, these are all empty. Empty boxes, there's some haircut, keyboard. There's an old school map. There's an old keyboard. Eagle Touch. Yeah. There's a better brand. So awesome score. I just stopped at a barn sale. It was like a garage, went all the way back. It wasn't a barn, but um, so it was like a garage sale. And uh, heck of a score. I got a couple um, Metallica t-shirts. I think that they're vintage. I got a couple, a little bit, some more vintage clothing. I got a brick phone. Um, brick phone is an old school cell phone for you young people that don't know what that is. That was the original. It was a car, it's a car phone. It has the, the um, has the case and everything. So we're gonna get right into the haul video after I hit these other thrift stores up and get something to eat. And uh, yeah, heck of a haul today, man. Wait do you guys see what I got. Okay, so what's going on? It's Rocco from Flip the Thrift. And today we went out, we did a little bit of yard selling and I got a super bonus item right here. Um, this shirt sells for about $300 online, um, anywhere from 300, there's one listed for 1200, but um, the girl that has it listed must be out of her mind just a little bit because I just don't think it's going to sell for that much. Um, it's the Danzig one, so the only one that is listed is hers and mine. Maybe in another category. Um, this is the Danzig and um, Suicidal Tendencies. So I'm, I'm hoping to get at least 300 I listed it for 5 since mine is the only other one besides hers. And uh, I think they sell for about 300 But the ones that are selling for 300 are like... They're not, they don't have Danzig on them. They don't, um, they have other, um, there's another one on it. It wasn't Danzig. It was Suicidal Tendencies and Candlebox. One of them was, can I love Candlebox too. Um, just a really good, um, 90s band. Uh, I think they made a couple albums. Their first album is really, really good. But, uh, anyway, really good score. Super score for the, for today. I spent $60 total at that yard sale this will well pay for my whole entire day and yesterday so um really really good um i got a lot of good things at this place i pretty much went through the whole entire um place it was a garage it was an old man um obviously you guys seen the um the footage earlier for the um i may have to cut this video in in two also i'm not sure but anyway i'm gonna try to go as quick as possible to get all of this stuff done because I do have a decent amount of clothing. Clothing's not really too great to look at. I just kind of want to show you guys what I picked up, but I got these brand new. These are Nun Bush. Um, not a very good brand, but they are brand new. Um, not sure what they're worth, but I only paid a dollar for them. Anytime I can get a brand new pair of shoes for a dollar um, is definitely a bonus. They're pro they, I don't even think that they're real leather. Yeah, they are. They're leather upper. They don't feel like leather. They're definitely not, um, 
shell cordovan because you can already see them when you push on them you can see the creases so not too bad for a buck i'll buy that for a dollar all right so i was going to keep these i picked these up the other day and i clean them really good and they still have some stainage um on this side we got a big stain right there so i couldn't get that out i scrubbed the heck out of that and i couldn't get it out i was going to keep them i'm still debating whether or not i want to keep them or not some of these new balances um these are the end cap this um, brand of New Balance does very well. Um, I paid nine bucks for them, so I may get like sixty dollars for them, even with the stains on them. They're super comfortable. They have really good. Um, the padding right here is super soft and comfortable, so I may keep them. I don't know yet. These I picked up the other day as well. I'm getting kind of off what I was um, supposed to be showing you guys, but I cleaned these. They came out really, really good. They were really dirty and smelled like smoke. I washed them in the washer twice. Um, so they smell really good now. They smell like detergent. Like, so I hope nobody's allergic to that. Um, but they came out really, really good. Um, these are actually a really good brand. They're 840, um, V4. So these are new balances and they just came out just, they just look spectacular. So, uh, I hope I get like 40 bucks for them. I'd be happy with that. Okay. So <clears throat> there was a trench coat sitting there and I smelled it. Make sure it didn't smell like smoke. It, it just smells like kind of like leather. It's, it's, I guess it smells like leather. But it's a really big trench coat. Um, you're not really missing anything. Phase two, really long trench coat. Um, trench coats seem to do very well if you do find, if you can get them cheap enough, because leather doesn't really sell too well, but it will definitely sell. Um, probably for like 50 bucks. Because I, I, I only paid $3 for it. I think it was 2 or $3. So not too much invested. These I cleaned up. They had a lot of on the bottom, so I had to clean that all up. But I uh, got them pretty clean. These are the I think these are the Nike Air 90s. I'm not positive. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not a sneakerhead, but um, these are really cool. Too bad they're not in my size. I would probably rock the rock the soles off of them, but they're still wet because I cleaned them. But um, they came out okay. Still a little bit of dirt on the top. I might want to scrub that up a little bit more and get them ready for photo. Um, I'll probably list these today. They got really cool bottom too. It's kind of like a, um, oh, what do they call that? They call that speckled. Whenever you see the little, uh, a lot of wool material has that in it too. Like just a little different color um, dots is called speckled. <clears throat> so not too bad with them. We'll see how that goes. Um, this is part of the deal over there. Some of these razors can be very valuable. Some of these um, old school razors, it just depends on which ones they are. Um, they're, most of the ones that you want to find are called Fat Boys. Um, I'm not sure if this is a Fat Boy or not, but um, I just grabbed it because it was just part of the bundle. So you twist them and they open up, and then you put the razor inside, and then you close it, and then, you know, you go old school shave. All right, so I haven't tested this yet, so I don't know if it works. I just grabbed this as just a little Sanyo. Some you'd be surprised with some of these old ones. This one feels like like it's just junk, but it could possibly be you know a good one. Got a bunch of batteries. The first yard sale I went to, I grabbed these. These are not necessarily the ones that you want to get, but they were Harley Davidson, so they were only a dollar. They got the Harley right there. Got the blue flames, but you don't want the clips. You want the buttons. Most people don't like the clip ones. They like the ones with the buttons. They go in their suit. You know, they go under the pants. So, um, still not a bad score. Let's see. Let's just kind of throw this stuff around. Um, there was a bag with some cell phone stuff in it. Um, I had to look up online how to reset it because it was password locked. It had the, the password. Um, my son helped me do it because he's a genius also. I'm not a genius, but, you know, I just look, I just look things up. It has the, the cover on it. Take the cover off. So I have a case. I have the, I have the charger. Um, this is the Samsung Galaxy Core Prime. It's about a $40 phone. It's all, um, that's just the screensaver. I peeled that back and it's perfect underneath. So um, it'll definitely sell well. It had, it had a screensaver and a cover on it probably for the life of the phone. So it's, it's definitely in good shape. I may even be able to sell it new refurbished if it if it's perfect, but it probably isn't. So I'll sell it probably not like new. I think I need to find a charger for this. This is just an old flip phone. This has the plastic on it as well. So we'll see about that. Um, I got to make sure that this isn't locked or they usually all just take SIM 
She had the batteries out of them, so I think she removed the SIM card. You just put your SIM card in it, and they just work. I think these are prepaid. So, um, this one doesn't have a SIM, but um, I have to make sure that it's not a locked phone. If it's a phone that's owed a bill or, you know, something like that, it won't work. So, but I got to find the charger for this one. I don't know what this is worth. Probably a couple bucks. You know, maybe 20 bucks, 25. I'm not really sure. It was in the bag with the phone. I didn't even see it. Here we got some batteries. I always grab batteries whenever I see them. This way I don't got to order them. They're not very expensive to order online. But we have some phone batteries. Um, some, uh, you know, handheld wireless phones, whatever. Um, home phones. House phones. There's a button battery in there. They call them button batteries because they're shaped like buttons. But, you know, just a bunch of batteries. I just threw them all in a box and he just gave them all to me. He just said $60 at the end, and I took it because I knew that that Metallica shirt, I was going to make my money. So, And the boots are, um, some of those boots are selling for $90 for those Nike boots. So we're going to get into the shirts. We've got this Daytona Bike Week. It's missing the tag. All I got to do is measure it. It's Miller's Custom Parts. It's not Harley, but... It is what it is. I just grabbed it. I think that this is a vintage Batman. It's kind of got a textured, it's got like a rubber texture on it. It's pretty cool. It's like perforated or whatever you call it. Not perforated, but um, I forget what that's called. So we got a Jordan. This is a vintage one. You can't really tell. It's hard to tell. I guess the newer ones have the black tag. This has a gray tag. So I'm pretty sure that this is a youth extra large because there's no way that this is a, an adult extra large. So it's probably a youth. A youth extra large is actually almost a men's medium. Like it's, it actually has a, a wide chest, which will, it will fit me, but it won't be long enough. So <clears throat> if it was a little bit longer, it might fit. But um, it was there. I grabbed it. I knew it was old because I kept finding all these old shirts. So I just knew that it was an old shirt. All right, so let's keep it moving. Keep it moving. All right, this is the last Jedi. I just, it's not old. Anytime you see the stamp, some of them might have a might have a physical tag, a regular tag too, and then the stamp tag. So, or whatever you call it. I don't know if you call. I call it the stamp because it's not a it's not a, a regular tag. It's a nice little nutmeg. It actually has an embroidered patch in the middle. It's just Phillies. I'm not really too sure how old this is. This is Nutmeg Mills. It's got a little bit of dirt around the collar. It's got a ring around the collar. Um, I'm probably that's probably not going to come out. I'm probably not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to list it like that. You know, just with stains. Probably get like 20 for it, 25. This one's really cool. I didn't look this up. This is a Salem. This is an Emmett Smith. This is actually from like 90, 90 something. I think it's 90. It's 90, 95, I think that's a 5, 95. All right, so, pretty cool. Go, Emmett. Go, run, run, run. Running and running, Jenny. I was running. All right, so this is definitely not vintage. It is a little bit older. It has a regular tag on it, so it's not new. I think it was 2000, 2005 six something like that just a cool guns and roses shirt it actually might have a little bit of value to it it might actually be worth 30 bucks you know who knows i didn't look it up and just grabbed it it's in good shape that metallica shirt's in rough shape man but it's still gonna sell for like i don't even know why i grabbed this this is just a dale earnhardt it's in decent shape i think that's why i grabbed it because it was in good condition i'm probably gonna wash all this stuff um i think it needs to be I'm going to give that to my son, um, probably my, my youngest, Savage. Pretty cool. But, you know, whatever. How much time? We got 11 minutes. Let's, let's get into this. This, I thought, was worth something. I picked this brand up before. It's junk. I'm not even going to talk about it no more. I'm not going to waste any more time on it. If it ain't about dollars, then it don't make sense. All right, so... I don't think that this is, I can't find a date on this, but this is an older, another old Batman shirt. Oh, dusty, yeah, I got to wash this stuff. That's an old Batman shirt. It's got a little bit of, a little bit of um, distress on the, on the graphic print. But this is, anytime you find L.L. Bean, this is, um, this is wool. So this isn't a, um, 
uh, this isn't a chamois cloth. This is uh, this is a so this is a heavy wool um, shirt. They call them shirt jackets, like a barn jacket almost, because it's just really heavy, keeps you warm. But uh, anytime you see LL Bean, it looks like this, and it looks old, and it's wool. It's made in USA. It's vintage. All right, so this is 100% wool. Um, this is this could be anywhere worth anywhere from like 40 to 80 dollars. I mean, it just depends on the condition. Is awesome. There's not there's no stains on that at all. It's really good condition. Another Guns N' Roses shirt. I wasn't gonna grab it. It's a women's, but it's gonna sit forever. But it does have a cool graphic on the back. That's the only reason. If it, there was nothing on the back, I would have left it. If it was just that, nobody wants that. But that's really cool. The graphic on the back is dope. So, we'll be aight. We'll be aight. So, I really do need to shave, don't I, people? Yes, I do. Um, I'm not sure if this is old. Yeah, that's right. It does have a date on it. What's the date? Is that 2001 or 2? I don't know where my magnifying glass is. I'm blind as a bat, so you know I can't see. I don't know where it is. I just can't do it, Captain. Man, I don't know where it is. I don't see it. Somewhere around here. I think this is 02 or 03. Let's see if you got, we can see it. Let's let's look together. You know, all of our eyes together, we might be able to see that. Let's see. No, it's so light that you can barely see it. See? Yeah. I think it's 02 or 03 or something. I'm blind. Like, even with glasses on. I'm blind in one eye and can't see out the other. It's in decent condition. I like you. When the world is mine, your death shall be quick and painless. Cool. Who goes there? My kids are going up and down the steps. All right, so whenever you see the Nike sign in the middle, Travis Scott is a good keyword to put in because I'm, I'm sure those are the um, ones that he wears. It's not a white tag. It's a gray tag. This is an older tag, but I don't believe that this is a 90s tag. Maybe early 2000s, mid, something like that. But um, they're overrated. I don't see any of them selling for a lot. Maybe on Depop or on another site, but not on eBay. It doesn't matter what keyword you use. It's just a regular Nike shirt. And it's not old enough to really be worth anything. So that's just my opinion, you know, from what I see from things selling. So, but um, just remember all this stuff I only paid 60 bucks for. So, you know, most of what I'm going through, some of it is from... Some of it is from another yard sale. Did I go to any thrift stores? I didn't even go to any thrift stores. I didn't have the energy to do it today. Um, I ended up from one town to another. And by the time I did all that driving and just stopping and um, stopping and getting something to eat and something to drink, I just I just said, you know, what? I'm going home. Plus, I spent enough money, so it was just time to go. You got to learn how to say, you know, you have to learn how to say when, you know, so you can go home and, and make your money. Um, these are just miss me jeans. They're actually like shorts. I guess you could fold them up. So I better get these listed soon. So I probably don't have to wash them. Jeans you shouldn't wash a lot. If they don't smell and they don't, they're not stained and dirty, you shouldn't wash them. It, it, it um, they last longer. You should dry clean them. I usually just hang mine back up when they're not dirty. But once they get to a point where they're dirty, all right. So this is an old Wilson. It's made in USA. That's how I know it's vintage. Most of the Made in USA stuff is vintage. This was at one of the yard sales. I paid $3 for this. Um, it's probably not going to sell for too much. I think I have one listed already, an Orioles one like that. What size is that? I paid 3 So what you do? To stay, she did the staple. Ugh. You're killing me with the staple. What size is this? I think it's a youth. No, it's a medium. So It's kind of the it's dry fit, too. It's polyester, I guess. But whatever. <clears throat> Here's another good brand to be on to look for. This is um this is women's Jean Star. Uh, what's the style? Usually you'll see a style. These are a cotton blend. I don't see the style inside, but I think they're yeah, these are flare. These are big. These are big flare. If you can see the see how big the flare is on these. Man, they're like bell bottoms. They call them flare, so. I didn't see any stains on these. They look like they're in pretty good shape. Jean Star's a good brand. I should get at least 25 for these. Maybe a little bit more. Um, depending on the style, I guess. I don't know how well 
I guess that's their other logo. I know I've sold this brand before. Um, my women's stuff, a lot of it just sits. Um, I grabbed this because it's it's like a brand new shirt. This is just a loose Under Armour polo, nothing special. Just a blue Under Armour polo. I'll probably get 10 bucks for that, 15 You know, who knows? Um, I'm not sure about this. I don't know if I'm going to give this to my kids. It said Legends Never Die. It's just a really cool shirt. I don't know what it is. I think it's just a regular t-shirt. It's just like a novelty. Yeah, I don't know. All right, so I seen this when I was getting ready to leave. Like, it was almost like the last. This is the Levi's Strauss, so this isn't the expensive Levi's. Um, this is probably only, I'm only going to probably get like 30 bucks for this. That's pretty cool. You can probably put a patch on it, whatever you want to do with it. But, you know, nothing big, just a regular denim jacket. Um, it's in pretty good shape. There's no stains on it. If it would have been all dirty and stained, I wouldn't have bought it. It doesn't smell. That I don't even have to wash. That's fine. It doesn't even smell. Here's some Rockin' Republic. Um, these are nice, too. These are kind of a flare also. So I think these have... Um, but I grabbed them because they're studded. They're like They have the spike studded um, embellished in the front. They're really dope. I just thought that they were different. And um, as long as none of them are missing... We should be good to go. No, they're all there. Um, there's just some light staining. Maybe, no, I'm just seeing things. No, they're in pretty good shape. What the heck was that? Somebody throwing something at me? Man, I'm losing it. All right, so let's keep it moving. I don't know. All right, I picked this up too. Um, I just put batteries in it. I actually had to press the restart button. Oh, we got some. Let's see. Let's let's play. Ready? You got it. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, did I get killed? I don't even know. Oh, there we go. Haya, haya. All right, game over. Cool. I'm not sure what this is worth, but um, Power Ranger stuff does very well. If this was football or soccer or anything like that, I would have a hard time selling it. Um, and it wouldn't sell for anything. So this is a Tiger Electronic. Is it Tiger? It's a Tiger Electronic. I'm not sure what the, what this one is worth. So we'll find out. Cool. I only paid, I think I paid 50 cents for this. This is Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Um, I think this is his first album. Since he's so popular right now with all the things going on with him, he ne never stops working. Like he's a workaholic. So um, I don't know what the album's worth. I'm not really sure. I don't know what this game is worth either. Bioshock. Um, this was nothing either. This was like a quarter or 50 cents or something. So I grabbed that. Um, this was at another yard sale. These were all in plastic. I took them out. We got this one is from, these are belt buckles. That one's from 70, 7, 1978. Taiwan, solid brass. That one's post office. I'm not sure if I can sell this. Sometimes things like that you can't sell, like police things. I usually just list it under vintage or something like that. And I usually don't have a problem. Jose Cuervo, um, that is, isn't that like, that's like alcohol, right? 1977, so this is 40, 43 years old, 43 years old. Um, I don't see a date on this one, but Budweiser is a no-brainer, so I grabbed it. They were all a dollar, I think they were only a dollar. I got this Star Wars, it does work. Let's see. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. All right. It's going to stop soon. We'll let it go. All right. So that's only worth like $20. That was a bad buy. I shouldn't have bought it. Because it's heavy and it's glass and it's just... I might just keep it. I don't know. Um, I got this McDonald's. This was part of the barn, part of the garage whatever the um mcdonald's piece the glue's kind of coming off of that um i'll probably just i couldn't re i might be able to re-glue that on there i did pick up some good glue it, it might work um is it ripped too man it's this thing is messed up it's actually ripped right here too this thing is old like it's probably not worth that much it's got two defects on it now so you know whatever 
Um, sometimes some of this Olympic stuff can be can be pretty good, but um, I don't know. I didn't see that there was so many rips in it. Um, I got this 49ers. This is a logo seven. I got to trim up the trim up this stuff here on the sides, and um, we're good to go. I might. I think I need to wash. I actually need to wash this hat, and uh, I'm not sure what this is worth. Probably like 20 bucks, maybe 15, 10. I usually just take $10 on my hats. After they sit for so long, I'll just take 10 bucks on them just to move them. Because I know I don't pay a whole lot for them. All right, so this camera, this is a Vivitar Easy 35. I didn't look it up yet. I don't know what it's worth. Um, I just threw it in with the stuff. It was the only, there was one other camera. There was this one. This one's brand new in the box. This is obviously vintage. This is actually from the Dollar Tree. So, I don't know how old that is. I'm not really sure. I'll probably get a couple bucks for it. Maybe ten bucks. Who knows? It doesn't weigh anything. And I got this John Deere Air Filter Elements. I'm not sure what this is worth. I just grabbed it. There was a set of shocks there, too. And uh, one of the boxes was, was sealed, and one of them wasn't. And the one that wasn't sealed was missing the hardware. So, I had to pass on it. So, I just passed. So he had four dollars on that. So I don't know if I paid four for that. I might have overpaid. But this is an official. This is an original John Deere one. So they're the ones that you'd want. Uh, this um, was originally. On, I hope he didn't charge me twenty for this. That might have been why the why my I paid so much. Um, I hope not. This is probably from the dollar store too. It's just a dance game. Um, I make it fifteen dollars, maybe ten, and then I'll charge shipping. So I'll probably just get. Actually, you can take that. This sticker comes off. I can take that sticker off. So, All right. So this is from another yard sale. Something's really heavy in here. What is in here? I don't know. All right. So, um, yeah, I did go into a thrift store. I went into the Salvation Army. So this is a vintage Polar watch. It's got everything to it. I got to put a battery in it. I don't know what kind of battery it takes. Um, it has that. It has this. This, I believe, this is the part that goes around your waist. It, check, it does your heart. And so I got the whole kit and caboodle. Got the whole kit and caboodle. All right. So I'm not really sure what that's worth. Um, I got this getaway game. This is brand new sealed. This is about a twenty dollar game. So you know, I, I took a chance on that. I wasn't really sure what it was going to be worth, but um. Yeah, like I said, I just took a chance. I got a couple controllers. These are $2 a piece. Here's a regular one. I'll probably just hold on to these until I find a system to put to match it with. I have two systems now, but I think they're not working. One of them might be working. I'm not sure. Um, I was going to buy systems today, and I turned it down. The guy never texts me back either. He's probably upset. But uh, I, I didn't want to pay $400 for 25 systems, and... I, I would imagine that all of the games are scratched. And the one I have listed right now is still sitting. So it's not a popular system. The one is not popular. The two is popular. The slim is popular. The three is popular. And of course, the four. But the one is really not that popular. It's not worth that much. So it's just not worth investing $400 in a bunch of systems that are going to sit. So I got all these pins. These are Los Angeles 1984 Olympic. Now, I see these pins selling anywhere from $8 to $20 a piece, and this was a whole bag. that I paid up for the bag. It was $13, but there's a whole bag of them, so there's tons of them. You know, there's a bunch in there. Here's this one. What is that one? That one's $100. 100 Centennial Celebration. That one's Coca-Cola. That was a Coca-Cola pin, so there's other ones in here. There's another one, another loose one. There's some loose ones. This one is, there's another Coke. So I'll put the Coca-Cola ones together, obviously. There's another one that says Coke. Coke, and this is 19, that's 1981. That's an old pin, so that's good. So there's a whole bag of them. Um, they'll be really easy to list. The, the pictures will be simple. You know, that's, that's easy stuff right there. Okay, so here's a new brand that I've never heard of. It's called Spring Step. Um, these are, I believe these are the Lollipop. These are brand new. I see these selling for like $80. So I'm going to go ahead and get these listed immediately. At first I thought they were $40. I'm like, I'm not buying them if they're 40 bucks. No way. But these were 4 bucks. There's not a scratch on them. Um, they may have been tried on. 
but these are brand new. So I'm expecting to get anywhere from $40 to $80 for these. The prices are so up and down. I think that some people, they sell for a lot. They sell for $80 new. Maybe I don't see any with a box, but if you look at the bottom of them, you look at the sides, they're just, they're brand new. They're absolutely brand new. They were These were never worn, so you can tell. They never touched the ground, so these are good. I'm going to sell these new. That's an awesome find. Um, I don't know how long they're going to take to sell, but they're really cool looking. So we'll see. We shall see, said the blind man. We got one more. We got a half hour into this video, so that's good. We're making good time. All right, so this is trash. So I paid up for these. They were $7, but this is the whole puff. Uh, yeah, puffy, puffy. Puffy, puffy. These are Buffy and the Vampire. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Duh. Like, I don't know what it is. Man, my brain just works when it wants to work. So there's the, that's the whole set. Boom. It's all of them. It's got a bonus disc. So this set sells anywhere from 40 I think like 40 to like 60 or $70. So I figured $7 into that. And this is going to ship media mail because it's DVDs. So... At first, I was like, please don't tell me that that's a VHS set because VHS tapes do not sell. I would not advise any of you to pick them up unless they are obscure, they're wrestling, they're horror, like um, Nightmare on Elm Street, or even, even more obscure horror than that. Like, other than that, they're not worth picking up. I mean, every now and then I'll sell some Black Diamond um, VHS Disney tape, Disney um, VHS tapes. But other than that, I just... I, I probably won't even pick them up anymore. I only pick them up when they're free. I have three bins full of them, and they just don't sell. Every now and then, I'll sell one. So they're just long tail items, I guess. I don't know. They just don't sell. But anyway, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. That's all I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed my video, my new um, filming on my GoPro today. It was really exciting for me. I was a little nervous, but then I said, you know what? I just jumped right into it. It's time to just go out in the field, take my GoPro, and just... Um, just show you guys what I can do, show you while I'm out, and that's what I was waiting for. So um, thank you to my wife for buying me the GoPro. I'm going to definitely use it again tomorrow. Um, like I said, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Um, don't forget to leave a comment down below if you guys have anything. To, um, just make them positive, and that's it. That's all I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Peace out.